Yo, what's up? Today we're talking about my wife wants a divorce and you need to do these three things now. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. So let's just get into this topic. My wife wants a divorce and you need to do these three things now. I made some notes for you because I've been through this, right? I don't know your circumstances, but um, I went through a divorce. I was married for over 20 years, sharing that with you. So I know a thing or two about this topic. <clears throat> now, listen, like I said, I don't know your circumstances. Maybe you cheated. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you lost your masculine frame over the years. Maybe you've been having a sexless marriage. Maybe you're just fighting all the time. Um, I don't know. But let's just say at one point your wife says, I'm done and I want a divorce. What do you do? Okay, so there's three things that you can do. I'm not saying to do all these three things, but there's three things you can do. So number one, is you have to accept that things are never going to be the same. You are now behind the eight ball. You've clearly lost your frame and her respect. She's, she wants out. Not really, but that's what she's saying, right? <clears throat> so the number one thing you need to, to do is accept that things are never going to be the same and you can improve it, but it's never going to be like it used to be. All right. The second is if you do want to stay with her, the worst thing you can do is get angry with her. So the second thing is to embrace the bad news, be kind, and ask her, what could I do to be a better partner? That might mean handing over your phone and giving her your, your password. It might mean going to counseling for so many months. It might mean a temporary separation. It depends on how bad you want to stay in that situation in the marriage, right? <clears throat> so the number, the number two thing is you need to ask her, what could I do to be a better partner? Number three, and this is the option that I took that when a woman says that she wants a divorce, it's really, really bad. The chances of you being able to redeem yourself is pretty much impossible. 70% of all divorces are filed by women. And that's the reality. So when it's that bad and somebody drops the D word, and I, guys, no matter how hard it is for you in the relationship, Unless you actually mean it, do not say that D word. Don't say divorce unless you actually mean it and go through with it because it's never going to be the same after somebody says that. So, so the third thing that you need to do is move on, right? That's the option I took. I realized it took a while for me to move on probably too long. And ultimately I accepted and I feel like most men, pretty much all men in awful marriages, sexless marriages, marriages of convenience, whatever, whatever, whatever. The reason why these men stay in it is because I don't want to pay the price. And the price is a hefty price. If you have children, we're talking child support. If you've earned more money than her for a long time, we're talking alimony or spousal support. There's selling of assets. This, it gets complicated and there's a heavy financial price for that. Sharing custody, whatever it is. So I can't recall the YouTuber's name, um, but he said this. He said the reason why men stay in these marriages is because they don't want to pay the price. And in his words, he says, you need to pay that motherfucking price because it's worth it. It's worth it for your freedom. So that's the option I took. Option number three, I decided to move on, pay that price. And it is a hefty price, but 
how much of a price is, is worth it for your freedom, right? So guys, I, I feel bad for you if this is what you're going through. And I, I encourage you to think about that price for your freedom and to ultimately realize that that marriage is never going to be the same. And last but not least, you will have options, right? And those options continue to multiply the more you take care of yourself, you're working on your body physically, you're going to the gym, you're taking care of your hygiene. So those options will continue to grow. And there's a lot more women out there that will appreciate you and desire you. It's going to be tough for the first little while, but believe me, trust me, you're going to meet someone amazing. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want me to do a video about your story, happy to do that. And we'll see you next time.